Whichever ape had this off before I did. Look at that. Shame on you. Right, okay, good afternoon everybody. So today I'm gonna to be tackling a small job on the kangaroo van. Uh, so the issue that I've got with this at the moment is that the uh, window on the driver's door uh, is not uh, coming down properly. So I'm start to wind it down. It's obviously making that noise, but as you'll start to see, look. There you go, look, the window is actually dropped. So it looks to me like we've got an issue with the regulator inside the door. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this door card off and have a look inside and see what, uh, what the problem is and hopefully we can fix it. Right, so the first thing I'm going to do is try and get it back. I want to read his toys. Uh, it looks to me like we've got an array of... Um, torque screws and maybe there might be some poppers maybe okay let's see what's what note to self rather than messing about with these little allen keys get some proper torque spanners Sarah if you're watching that's my birthday present thinking possibly is that underneath here there'll be some there's some poppers so looking behind that's looking oh well, actually it looks like there's some mastic behind here I wonder if this is where somebody's actually had a, a go at this it looks like somebody's had a go at this before I'm just wondering whether or not somebody's attempted to try and sort this window once already they've then been unsuccessful and they've just put it back. All this horrible gunk, look, look at that. Someone's definitely had this off before. And they've put it back using glue. Right, okay. All right, so with the door opener, got this bar that it's threaded along so it looks as if I've just got to try and sort of un untangle it from there twist it round to unhook it so I'll try that that's that off doing it yourself in the face yeah Gingerly. Right, so now with the card off, we attach the window winder and start to wind the window down. I want to just see what is going on behind here. There it goes. Here, look. Why is it doing that? So I'm going to just try and wind the window down again. Just see what is going on. dropped again. So that bar is obviously attached to the bottom of the window. I think what's happened here is the yellow wheel has just simply come out of it. Now it does look a bit bent. What's caused the bend? We've got to see if we can try and get that yellow wheel 
back into that channel. Dropping the window down. What I'm doing, I'm just holding the bottom of the glass. It's not a good noise. That wheel is not quite in that regulator. Not quite. It's sat at a funny angle. I've got to try and get that wheel to sit a little bit more in that gap. It's just a little bit too far over this side. It needs to go sort of up there a little bit to slot in properly. I'm going to see if I can try and do it by hand. It's not easy though, so space is a bit awkward. Right, okay, so what? Just got ready to show you this on camera. What I'm going to essentially do is where that wheel is, just put my thumb just up against it, just press it. See if I can push it into that gap. And whilst pushing it into the gap on the re on the um, actual regulator on the bottom of the window, whilst pushing it in, try and wind it down to see if it then slots in. So it's definitely not going in properly. I think that yellow wheel right should shouldn't even be right on the edge of that regulator. I think it should be further down. So I'm just winding the window. really really tight it's definitely something not right you can see what's happened there look it's not even in the regulator anymore the question is of course is why is it coming out of the regulator right so now we're on the window right down to the bottom as you can see so on this side You've got the uh, yellow wheel in the channel here, and then of course it's not in this one, and it should be slotting into there. Now you can see that this lower bit here is bent, it's bent down. Do we try maybe getting a set of pliers and just bend this bit back into shape? That arm looks a little bit bent as well. I'm wondering whether that arm might need a little bit of bending as well. Looks as if it's bent at the end toward me. Let's get some pliers and see if we can bend this back into shape a little bit. I don't know how easy it is to see in there. But that's what we're just trying to bend there, look. Last thing I want to be doing, of course, is shattering the glass. I have bent it in a little bit. Bit annoying because this bit just here, I can't quite. At the, this end, I could put the end of the pliers just up here in this gap. But there's no gap for me to put the top of the pliers there to pull this bit up. So I'm, this part here, I don't know if I can move it or not. Let me see if we can get this yellow wheel to sit in that channel. It's a little bit better. Okay, so I've just used the pliers just to bend this bit with the rest of this arm because this little piece here just behind the yellow wheel was further this way. It was sort of at, at like that sort of angle, whereas now it's a bit straighter, a little bit. So I'm hoping it'll, of course, put it a little bit more in line with the uh, with the regulator. Right, okay, so we'll see if we can manhandle this wheel back into the channel again. Now that we've got it bent a little bit more favourably, hopefully this will sit in properly. So now that I've got the wheel in the channel there, and obviously it's in that one anyway, there's resistance once more and I think I might know why because the edge of this glass is meant to be sat in here in this channel and it's it's gone back it's missed it so I'm wondering whether I need to lift the glass and get it to sit into there 
That might do it. What I've done now is I've completely disconnected the scissor mechanism from the window regulator. So as you can see, look, the yellow wheels are not attached to it at all. And the window is pretty much up. As you can see, look, everything is moving very nicely. So that to me rules out an issue with this. The thing I have noticed is that when you drop this window down, there's really strong resistance. So when I push this, not, I don't want to push up too hard because I don't want to break it, but not, oh, there it goes now. You can see there, look, it's missing this channel completely. Seems to be in that one. Yeah, it's in that one, but it's missing this one. I'm wondering if there's something wrong with this rubber. I'm wondering whether it's this that's then subsequently putting added pressure on these, the wheels, maybe other bits in there. It's because it's getting stuck and not sitting in this properly. Have a look at the rubber. Just get the window back up. following it perfectly. Right. So this rubber is sat in like a little metal channel just in here. When I took it out of the van, it was that way round. And there's a thicker edge this side than this one. I've just now flipped it over. Fed it back on. I'm going to drop the glass. It's going straight down it. I think someone has taken this rubber off at some point and they've put it on the wrong way around. And the position of the rubber is what has been forcing the glass to go down the side of it rather than down the centre of it. I'm going to get a little bit of fairy liquid and just put it down the rubbers on both sides. Just so that it's got a nice, easy, a nice easy way of getting down the glass to go down them. Get the wheels attached back on this regulator and see if we've fixed this. Just to be on the safe side as well, let's put some into that one as well. Let's see if we can get the uh, wheels to get back into that regulator again. There we go. Right, okay, so I've now got, obviously the window's up, um, the two scissor arms are up here now, the two yellow wheels, I've now got both of them sat in the regulator, The this side I needed to drop the window out of the channel here, drop it behind it so that it could sit further into the door to allow me to then line up when that scissor was down here to allow me to line up the yellow wheel put it into it then I could bring the window in that side obviously I've been pushed it up and when I got it to the top I was able to then use my finger to sort of tease the second yellow wheel on this side into the other side of the regulator so now Down she comes. So that's um, one yellow wheel in there. And that was the one that was causing the headache before. As you can see, that one's in as well. Now, even though that rail is ever so slightly bent, it's not dropping out. It seems to stick in.
And up she goes. Fantastic. Job done. So it looks all along as if what was causing the issue was uh, the rubber was in the wrong way round. It's a bit difficult really to tell. Um, but uh, there's definitely a difference in thickness between this part of the rubber and this one. And I think what it was doing, because it was the other way round, it was forcing the glass to go behind it. And that was what was creating the resistance. And it was that resistance that was then gradually starting to take its toll on the other components on the window mechanism. I'm really quite pleased with myself. Right, okay. Let's get the uh, door card back on and tidy up. So this little bar, as you can see it's a bit of an bit of an S shape. And what I need to do is thread it through that uh, little yellow ring. So it's just a case of just literally just hooking it around, push in, screw on, and we're in. Note to self, I don't think this one actually did anything. <laughs> oh well, always learning on the job. Whichever ape had this off before I did, shame on you. Right. Better go and get the little man from nursery. There you go, little man. Hey. <laughs> Do 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 do. A bot bot. Bot bot's coming. <laughs> it's coming. Here you go. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Reggie, look. Look at this. Daddy fixed the window. What do you think? Did good job? <laughs> you did good job. <laughs> okay, guys. So uh, yeah, all sorted, windows now working, really, really pleased with that. That was, uh, was beginning to get quite irritated not having that working. Um, clearly whoever had been attempting to get behind that door car before had made a right mess of it. So you got, yeah, that rubber was the wrong way round and all that mastic to try and stick it all back in place. What a mess, but not to worry. Their loss is my gain because now I have a working window, which I didn't have before, so I'm really pleased about it. So yeah, all good. Right, okay. Um, I just want to finish off by saying as ever, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Any comments you want to put forward would be greatly appreciated. And if you would like to support my channel and check out further content that's on there, then just hit the subscribe button at the end of the video. Okay, right, until next time. Thanks ever so much for tuning in. I'll see you in the next episode. See you later guys, take care, from me and Reggie, bye bye, say bye bye.
<laughs> Cheers, guys. <laughs>